fuck is fuck you. Enough. Okay. Hi, YouTube. I have with me today regional place, third place, Max Tepera <laughs> here. Regional place. Regional <laughs> place. He got his invite, and that's all that matters. Yes! But we are here today to talk about a very serious topic that people have asked me to talk about. What are we talking about? Max. Everyone's favorite new app. The Bandai TCG Plus app, is yes. that what it's called? Yeah, okay, yeah. sounds good. All right, this is all one take, by the way. Raw, unedited, oh, just the fun. way you like it, this huh? This is gonna be fun. It is, okay, so here, here, so while we're all having a nice time in Gen Con and everything's working fine and we've been through an Ultimate Cup, going through a regionals, the app seems to be working good. And TAC is, despite starting late, doing a great job. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. And then they also tackled the online tournament today, Friday, the 5th? Yeah, the 5th. Yep. All right, so shit went sideways, you know what I mean? Uh, apparently after round two or something, the app just crashed or lost its data or timed out or did something weird. And that caused a very, 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 very long wait between round two and three. Everyone's win-loss data was kind of all messed up. Back points were gone. Um, and because it took so long, they switched apps. First of all, they're now on Meister. TCG Meister? Is that the one? I've never heard of that before. I don't know. They're using a different app, because the TCG Plus app is just not, not working, apparently. And um, they changed it, TAC changed it to a best of one tournament. That's wild. That's why I thought something like happened. I thought that was like a natural disaster or something, but like everyone's phones blew up when this happened. I'm not sure why. Oh, I, I guess you can't. Uh, it's almost like an, a win, a lose lose situation because it's either like, well, there's like three chances. It's either they continue on and it's not best in one, and now it goes into like the night into the morning. You have, uh, you keep it best in one, which obviously didn't work out. Um, and then you have the ability, like, you can also say, okay, we're poning, postponing the rest of the event. But obviously, like, say if you move it to tomorrow, now, like, people will have to go to work and now they can't play in this tournament. Um, you move it, like, a week from now, but still now people now have to make more time off from it. It was just, uh, not a, not a, not a, not an ideal situation to be in. Yeah, no. I know that if I was playing in this online tournament, I, I would have, I would have lost every single yeah. one of my marbles. Yeah. Um, from a practicality standpoint, you know, some people were Twitch streaming it and wasted content. Yep. You know, some people, this was their only day off, the whole day's gone. Yeah. Um, and just a whole lot of unnecessary stress. Yeah. Um, now, on the pro side of things, we do want to give TAC a shout out for handling that situation literally the best way possible with the tools they had. Because it was a lose-lose situation. Yeah. There was nothing they could do, really. TAC doesn't make the app. We'll talk about the app. Yeah, could second. you imagine just having it dumped on you and like, now you have to fix this? And like, you're literally the scapegoat. Because I know there's like, oh, this is a must, like, and like, they dumped it on TAC and that's just unfortunate. Yeah, it would have happened to anyone. If Court TCG was running it, this yeah, probably exactly. would have happened. If exactly. it was anyone else, it would have happened. So, big props to TAC for handling it the way they did. There, there was no right or wrong answer. This was an unprecedented situation that's never happened before. Uh, they were probably just as annoyed, probably more annoyed even, than the players, I want to say. Yeah, because they knew the backlash that would come. Mm-hmm. Now, now, we do have to go to the con side here. Why in the fuck would Bandai release an app for tournament use that is not working or caveat has not been properly tested because I feel like if I'm releasing an app for people to use or program or even back in the day when I made ex Excel spreadsheets for an old job for reports I would test them mm. extensively made sure they worked a hundred percent before sending them out for review because if they didn't well then you just look like an idiot you know what I mean? And you cause people frustration. I, I, do, I, I don't know what happened, but maybe it was just a one in a million techie fluke. May, maybe the app 
which we, we don't, we know it's not working fine. Maybe we're just having a moment, but the app should be built better to have moments, save data, save data, save back point data, save something. What do you think? Well, to go off what you said, like, it's an app that we already know isn't working because I've seen people all over like the Facebook groups and the discords complain that now that the locals are required to use this app, it seems like everybody's always had issues with it. And you would think that feedback would have made its way back to Bandai and they would have thought, hey, maybe this isn't a good idea to like showcase at a major like online and in-person event. Like the minor issues that we had at the in-person event were just like you just had to like go in and like refresh the apps when everyone got paired up again. But for them to just kind of dump that off without testing something of that scale is wild and kind of irresponsible because that's like, how do you just expect it to be like, oh yeah, like we can just wing it and go in there. Absolutely. I want to know in the comments section what you guys think. Were y'all playing in the tournament? Did y'all get affected by this? What are your thoughts? Do you think that the app shouldn't be used right now? Let me know in the comments. But for real, my opinion is I think the app should just stop. I, I, I can bet that someone from Bandai is watching this video because it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to go around. I, Bandai, let's, listen. Just listen to me, okay? Take the app down. All right, just, just stop. Calm down. Go, 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 go for a walk. Relax a little bit. Test the app a longer time. Make sure everything is working. Make sure you build in fail safes for if one in the million technological flukes like this happen and make it so it actually works. Cause I honestly, I've heard more bad things about this app yeah. than good things. I don't think I've heard one person say something good about it. Everything's frustrated from signing up to it, from converting over like BCC to your new uh, Bandai Plus app to like how it actually operates. And like you said, I don't, I don't understand how you would just, it seems like it has come across as if they were giving a time, given a timetable on when this app had to be up and operational. And instead of just doing like quality assurance, they just threw it out there. And that's wild that a company that big and that so many players like invest money and buy products from would want to put out a product that doesn't work because now that's just tied to them. Everyone's like, when you hear the Bandai app, it sucks. And that's just like, why would you want that attached to your company's name? It's just beyond me. It's no good. It's honestly not good. And I understand what they're trying to do. Like you have Dragon Ball, you have Digimon, you soon have One Piece mm -hmm. and you soon have, what's coming out 2023? The battle, the battle game? Spirits. Yeah, that yeah. thing. I understand that you want one app to rule them all. Mm -hmm. I, and I get that. I, I completely understand how to keep, keep things organized and people can use their ID to play band, multiple Bandai games if they want to. That's really cool and all. I respect that. That's probably the best way to do it. But you gotta make sure it works. Yep. Please, just take some time, fix it. There's no rush. We were all running tournaments fine. Just, just take the app back yep. and fix it yep. and then re-release it and then it's fine. And then it's fine. Right? Yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, again, let me know what you guys think in the comments and like the video and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And uh, yeah, bye. Smash the potatoes. Smash the potatoes. Smash the potatoes. <laughs> Let's go.